Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Say. How the devil are you? Today is Monday. It's Nuke's top five. That's very lootly. What scares me about this, uh, this one in particular, okay, is the thumbnail has got Matey from Carmel, Maine, right? The one with the shadow people jumping out of the bloody windows and stuff. Sitting on his bed. What the F? Right? What the F? I'm a little bit freaked out already, to be honest with you. But, this is what we're here for. For the freaky deekiness. Anyway, guys, I just want to say a massive thank you, alright, to all of you that have gone over to my second channel, alright, Casper Vision, links down below. You guys are bloody awesome, mate, that you're coming in thick and fast, and you're liking the content, liking it, mate, thank you so much, alright, keep it coming, mate, keep it coming, like, if anyone, if anyone mentions my hair, COVID hair. Oh, you bloody banned. I block you. Look at the state of it. Look at you. Look at your fucking hair. Still look fucking good though, Ben. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, Dardilly Day. Five ghosts. Go on, mate. Call on camera. Go ghosts on, Nuke. of Carmel, Maine. Oh, here we go. Here I've we go. I've featured in the YouTube channel Ghosts of Carmel, Maine many times on Nuke's Top 5, so I won't go through a full recap. But put simply, Kent Burris says that he lives in a very haunted house and has recorded many strange supernatural encounters in his home. The hardest things to deal with while living in this house, and one of the most frightening encounters are in fact apparitions. Son of a bitch! Oh, oh my! I think do something. Oh my! One night, mate, mate, sleeping, mate. there was a loud <clears throat> bang in the bedroom that woke me up. I started hearing faint voices. So I picked up my cell phone camera and started recording. One night, Ken hears voices coming from downstairs and records as he heads down to investigate. He is not prepared for what he finds waiting in the dark first floor TV room. Oh God, no! Son of a What the hell are you? What the f- Honey. As what? Uh, mate, hang on a second. I thought that was fucking him. I thought he was him watching fucking TV. Prepared for what he finds waiting in the dark first floor TV room. What the hell are you? Oh, fucking, do you see how quickly it disappears? It's, oh, wow. What the hell are you? Like, it, he's like, fuck off, I'm watching TV. Go back to bed. Honey. As Kent walks into the pitch black room, the TV has somehow turned itself on. Now, this might explain the voices, but as he pans his camera around the room, a dark shape suddenly appears right in front of the television screen. The shadow figure seems to collapse into itself as it Oh man, what? Disappears right in front of his eyes. What the hell are you? It, it moves so quick. It moves so damn quick. I did not go back to sleep that night. So did Kent capture yet another shadow apparition in his haunted house? You decide. You can watch this full documentary over on the YouTube channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Oh, Checking mate. out early. Iraqi fitness trainer Mustafa from the YouTube channel Mustafa Altai says that he heard a strange story about a family who had fled their home in Iraq many years ago because a sinister jinn began haunting their home. The house has been left abandoned for over 60 years. Wow. As the family says they couldn't find anyone willing to rent or buy the cursed property. Mustafa goes to investigate the house with his friend Salar to see if the spooky stories are true. And it did not go well. As the two explorers are about to enter the house, they have no idea Nuke, it never goes well, mate, does it? Let's be honest. It never goes bloody well. That something seems to be watching them. Hasbi Allahu na'mal wakil. 
What are we looking at? What are we looking at? What are we bloody looking at? Now, it's certainly a bit hard to see, but when the video is slowed down and enhanced, a very strange figure can be seen standing at the window. I can barely see now, that. It's unclear <laughs> exactly what this bizarre shape could be, but when Mustafa's camera pans back, the dark figure has disappeared. Oh, yeah. After the two explorers enter the house, things only get weirder. The two friends hear strange sounds coming from the staircase. They go to investigate, and this happens. Is that an empty paint bucket is thrown from somewhere above them, barely missing the two explorers. Mustafa runs upstairs to see where it came from, but his friend Salar heads for the exit. <laughs> Eventually, Mustafa convinces Salar to come back, but after hearing more scary, unexplained sounds, they both decide to leave. Mustafa uploads his video to YouTube, and many of his viewers want to see more. Yes. In the video comments, his fans dare him to go back and actually spend the night in the haunted house. Oh. So, Mustafa agrees. He returns to Which, mate, I'm telling you. Uh, spend the night in the house? Spend the whole night? F that, mate. No effing way. ...to the house, determined to stay the night. This time, all alone. Mustafa sets up a few static cameras in one of the rooms and attempts to settle in for the night. But before long, Mustafa's night takes a terrifying turn. Mate, wind doesn't go. Mate, my eyes are going bang, 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 my eyeballs are going bang, 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 left, right, center, willy nilly, trying to look out for like a shadow person or something. What the fuck? Strange moans and loud bangs keep Mustafa on the edge and unable to rest. But little does he know, things are about to get even creepier. Let's go! Fuck! Smilah! Mate, this dude needs a sleeping bag or something. Like, something to cover himself up. Like a quilt. Like, I, I would feel so vulnerable. I would feel totally naked right there. <laughs> Flipping hell, mate. Yeah. Holy shit! Oh! A heavy piece of stone sitting on top of the fireplace seems to move on its own. Then as if propelled by an invisible force, it violently crashes to the ground, nearly landing on Mustafa's head. Understandably, Mustafa is now freaked out. He's only been inside the house a little over an hour, but 
he decides to put an early end to his overnight investigation. Yeah! But now here's where things get really creepy. Okay. Because the most terrifying part of Mustafa's stay inside the house isn't even what he saw or heard with his own eyes and ears. You see, his static cameras caught video of something strange that he wasn't even aware of. Oh god, here we go, here we something go. Something downright chilling. What? The light from my phone? What? I saw it, Nuke! I effing saw it, mate! Hang on a second! Whoa, 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 there's a shadow! There's a shadow, it's right by the door! It's a little, little, little. Did you see it? Did you see it? Yeah! As Mustafa is repositioning his static camera, a dark figure appears behind him on the stairs. Mate, it goes down the stairs and then to the Le Gorge. Case. It slowly moves down the stairs without making a sound and then disappears out of sight. But this isn't the only time Mustafa captured this creepy figure during his nighttime stay. Fucking, fucking YouTube, mate. What is that? Again, a dark, very bizarre figure quickly appears behind Mustafa, not once, but twice. Could it what? be that he what? captured the djinn that haunts the home on camera? Whatever it is, it seems to change shape, size, and even transparency. Yeah! So just what is this? Let me know what you think. You can check out Mustafa's full two-part video investigation of the house over on his YouTube channel, Mustafa Altai. Okay. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Haunted Ancient Ram Inn. With a past as dark as the Ancient Ram Inn, it's not surprising that it is said to be the most haunted building in all of England. The mysterious inn was built way back in the year 1145 wow. on top of a pagan burial ground. Wow. And it served as the home to slaves, masons, and workers. In the 1500s, a woman hid out in the building before she was captured and burned as a witch. Years later, the innkeeper's daughter is said to have hung herself in the attic. And as if all that wasn't creepy enough, the decaying remains of sacrificed children were found buried under oh, the inn's floor. Fuck the ancient hell. Like what the what the shit was your head on about, mate? Like back then, yeah. What the fuck were you thinking? What a bunch of bloody weirdos, mate. Ancient Ram Inn is said to be so violently haunted that when the building was sold to John Humphreys in 1968. His wife and daughters absolutely refused to live there. They moved out, leaving John Humphreys all alone to oh. live in the house. Oh man, that's terrible. So, British paranormal investigators Sean Kenna, Sean Owen, and Carl Hassel from the YouTube channel Dark Territory traveled to the Haunted Inn to investigate the multiple claims of paranormal activity. During their investigation, they hear bizarre unexplained sounds, and Sean feels something touching his leg. Already, as soon as we were about to begin filming the investigation, something draws our attention upstairs. Really? Okay, let's check it out. Sounded like you rolled a barrel or... Did you work at the inn? Dude, upstairs. Go, go, go. Man, that's some camera rig he's got there. Heard what sounded like movement up here. 
I'm gonna have to check this channel out, mate. Is this mate. where you are? Are you the witch? They call this room the witch's room, so we only assume that you, the witch, you're you're felt in here. Did anyone hear the voice a second ago before you said you're felt in here? No. Nah. Witch, you're you're felt in here. I heard witch, it. Witch, you're you're felt in here. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know if it's a voice or it was like a like a cat. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Did you used to sleep in this bed, witch? Oh. <laughs> Alright, mate. Fucking hell. Do you used to sleep in this bed, hey? Hey? <laughs> Come on, baby. Alright? Come on, witchy wishy woo. So, this is the. <laughs> fucking! That was smart on my leg, man. Someone was on my leg. Jesus Christ. Well, you, you fucking. You, you, you're there like that, mate. You're there like that. <laughs> Come on, witchy, let's fucking go! Fucking hell! Touch your leg. Later, Sean Kenna and Sean Owen. I think you wanted it to touch your leg or something, mate. Maybe your middle leg. I don't know. And are exploring on the second floor. Things get even stranger. What little room are you hiding in? Come on, show yourself. I'm sure you're not afraid of me and Owen. A door to the attic opens on its own and the team can't find any explanation for the strange occurrence. There was no draft and the team had been walking back and forth past the door many times without it making any movement whatsoever. Now since it has always been said that dark spirits and entities supposedly quote, feed off fear, the team decides really? to do an experiment to see if the emotion of fear will trigger even more paranormal activity. So they tie up and blindfold team member Carl and put him in one of the beds in the bishop's room. This room is said to be the most supernaturally active. What the fuck? Hey mate, listen, we got an idea, okay? It means tying you up and, and blindfolding you uh, to a bed, but it's okay, it's fine. It really is, just relax. What the fuck? Are you okay? At first, <laughs> nothing really happens, and as time passes, Carl seems to grow more and more impatient. Yeah. But then, things take a terrifying turn. Oh, mate, no, come on now. So much of f touch me, leg. So much of f touch my leg, bro. Something's up, man. It's fine, just leave him in there, it's fine, honestly. Keep rolling, keep rolling. You around me now. You make a sound. Holy oh, fuck! What is that, bro? What, man? Dude, this something's just falling off here. Who's that? Oh Brother. shit! What's the What the? Coming from a car. He's all holy shit, man. We need to. Go Get him out of there! That wasn't tied very well, was it? Bro, I just seriously, someone just whacked me. No joke. I heard something being thrown or something. She was slapping his ass. I was like, come on, and then someone just whacked me. No joke, as if someone just punched me in the chest. Me. Carl begins to freak out as he feels something touching his leg. I, I, I want to see, like, I want to see the material sort of bend. Do you know what I mean? I want to see it. I want. I want. I want to see candle then falls onto the floor, but scariest of all, something unseen slaps Carl on the chest. The violent smack is actually loud enough that the audio can be heard on camera. Yeah, but I don't see the material go down, mate. Hey, wh wh where, where, where? I don't see it. I don't see it. And with that, Carl is done. An abject terror. <laughs> Motherfucker, I got home. Where he frantically struggles his way out of the rope, binding his legs and wrists. So, did the paranormal investigators capture proof of the sinister ghost that haunt the ancient Ram Inn? Let me know what you think. You can watch this full video and many more investigations of haunted English locations over on the YouTube channel, Dark Territory. Mate, that looks like a good channel, man. Might have to check it out.
The House of the Burned Man Popular Mexican paranormal investigator Alberto Del Arco travels to a mansion in Manzanillo, Mexico. The massive hillside estate has been mysteriously abandoned for over 35 years, and it looks more like a hotel than a home. It features a pool, a spa area, and an amazing view of the ocean. Wow. So no one really knows why such a luxurious home would be abandoned for- Mate, that's Tony Stark's house, isn't it? For over three decades. However, <laughs> urban legend says that one of the home's previous tenants perished in a mysterious fire inside the house. Because of this, locals refer to the estate as the quote, house of the burn man. The entire property is said to be extremely haunted. Wow. Once Alberto and his two cameramen make their way inside, they find the home's design a bit confusing. Todavía no le encuentro la forma de esta casa. Aquí está cerrado, aquí ya no hay más. No, todavía existen. Atrás, atrás. Was that a scream or a cat? ¿Alguna ave? Ok, pero eso vino de este lado. Soy yo claro. Madres. ¿Fuiste tú ahorita que pisaste? Sí. ¿O no? Sí. ¿Sí? Se oyó muy hueco, eh. Cuidado, sí, retumbó todo. No se nos vaya a caer encima parte de esta propiedad porque sí se ve que está muy dañada. Mira, ven, 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 ven. Ven, ven a ver esto. ¡Oh! ¡Oh! ¿Qué the fuck? Sí. ¿Qué fue eso? Ven a ver esto. ¡Oh! 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 What the fuck is that? It's like a hand. Oh, sí. Casa me estrella en la cara, güey. ¿Lo viste? He's laughing. While exploring the strangely. He was laughing. He was smiling. Look, you can see his fucking smile. He's smiling again! <laughs> He's all smiling! Casa me estrella en la cara, güey, ¿lo viste? Su While exploring the street. Unless it's like a nervous laugh. Strangely you know? constructed mansion, the team hears what sounds like a child's voice, followed by the sound of a breath. Even though the unexplained sounds are barely picked up by their microphones, the three explorers all seem to hear it very clearly. Next, Alberto has a frightening close encounter with a bat. Oh, it was a bat. Oh, shit. Right, okay. I Right, I'll be honest with you. I thought it was something that was not meant to be seen by the camera. It was supposed to be him jumping. I thought it was somebody like pretending to throw something or something like that. It was a bat. Okay, that explains the laugh. And after that, the team just decides to continue their investigation outside as they check out the other buildings on the sprawling estate. Hola. No sé, güey, cómo que arrastraron algo. Buenas noches. No creo que haya indigentes viviendo aquí, la verdad. Uy. Este enorme este lugar. Atrás, 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 atrás aquí. Eso fue aquí, eso fue aquí, eso fue aquí. Con cuidado. Puede haber animales, eh? Alberto and his team hear strange sounds coming from inside some of the buildings. It sounds almost like something heavy being dragged across the floor. Since the hillside the mansion sits on is almost impossible to access, Alberto thinks it would be unlikely that any homeless people could be living there. Yeah. Instead, he believes that all of the sounds that he is hearing could simply be made by animals. But even though Alberto is very skeptical, what happens next is not so easy to explain. Okay, let's go. ¿Qué pasó, güey? ¿Qué pasó? Ay, güey, a mí se me hizo ver alguien acá. Allá, ¿dónde? ¿Dónde, dónde, dónde, dónde? ¿Dónde? ¿No habrá sido una sombra? ¿No habrá sido algún árbol? ¿Alguna rama? ¿Lo habrá trabado o no? Sí. Okay, habrá que revisar ese material. 
Alberto's cameraman captures what appears to be a white translucent figure on oh, camera. Oh, shit. A little later into their investigation, and they capture something again. I didn't even see that. Let me bird. Pigeon, Cuidado. mate, pigeon. Mucho murciélago. ¿Todo bien? Calla ya. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Todo bien? ¿Dónde? ¿Todo hijo de ¿Dónde, güey? ¿No salen los murciélagos? Huele muy mal. Huele muy, muy mal. Bats come flying out towards the cameraman, but it's not a bat that spooks him. A bizarrely shaped shadow seems to be staring back oh! at him from just inside one Fuck. of the rooms. Look at you with your bloody eyes! Look at your fucking eyes, mate! Look at you! You got one eye! You're a one eye shadow bastard, mate! They go to check it out, but there's nothing there. The figure has vanished, leaving nothing behind but a very foul stench. Before long, the echoing sound of a raging party being celebrated somewhere nearby starts to make it impossible for them to capture clear, uninterrupted audio. Alberto and his team have no choice but to wrap up their investigation. However, right before they leave, they capture something truly chilling. Oh, here we go. Okay. Con cuidado. Okay, ¿les parece si... si bajamos? Digo, aquí no hay más que una pequeña I can't see it, I can't see it. I can't see shit. Quizá. Pero se me hace curioso que esté este piso, ¿no? At the time they recorded this, the team says that they were completely unaware that someone or something seemed to be watching them from the tree line. They catch an unexplained figure on camera, just barely... Oh, God, yes, mate, with a skeletal face. Look at it. ...visible in the dark. So... Did Alberto Del Arco and his two cameramen capture evidence of paranormal activity at the mansion? Is it oh, possible that the ghost of the burned man, who the house is named after, was watching? Oh man, did you see his face? Them. Let me know what you think. You can watch this full video over on the YouTube channel, Alberto Del Arco. Okay. Just passing through. Paranormal investigators beyond the realm paranormal investigate the Alton Railway Station in Staffordshire, England. The old train station was built in 1849, and it was eventually closed down in 1965. So, after over 100 years of travelers and workers passing through the station, it is now believed to be extremely haunted by the ghosts of deceased passengers and railway workers. The five investigators set up motion detectors on the platform close to what used to be the railway track. They start recording, and what they capture is truly bizarre. So that's just Nick setting off the motion detector. It only goes off when something walks in front of it. There you go. Straight after you, it's followed you. Let me do it one more time for you. I want you to follow me exactly where I come from. Mate, what the hell? Remember. We need to do that. Fucking what? No. When lead investigator Nick walks back and forth setting off the motion detector, something seems to follow him. Then suddenly a super fast moving white mist seems to pass right through him, knocking him a step back. Oh what? We need to do that. Oh, oh no! What's especially Mate, creepy? He's just is been fucking possessed by a white spirit thing. Nick seems to both see and react to the mist as it passes right through his body. Oh man! So did they capture real evidence of the paranormal? Could it be the ghost of a wary traveler still running to catch a long departed train? You decide. Check out this full video and more paranormal investigations over on their Facebook and YouTube channel. Beyond the Realm Paranormal. Okay. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And also maybe check out my other videos. I'll see you next week. Yes, mate. Absolutely. Here you go, mate. Nukes top five. Absolutely very legendary as normal. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please give a little like, mate. And um, also subscribe if you want to subscribe. And also go check out my other channel as well, Casper Vision. Love you lots, mate. And especially you. Right?
you. Take care. Bye-bye.